Hello and welcome to this lecture in which we will explore RESTful services. RESTful services in Oracle Apex refer to a feature that allows you to create, publish, and consume RESTful web services directly within your Apex applications. RESTful services enable communication between different systems or applications over HTTP using standard representational state transfer REST principles. Oracle Apex provides direct integration of REST data sources in classic reports, interactive reports, CSS calendar, and charts. In this exercise, you will allow an external Apex instance to access your data. For this scenario, you need to have two separate Apex workspaces to execute the instructions. As demonstrated in this diagram, we will be using two separate Apex instances for this exercise. The first one, which is referred to as the local instance, will run on the free Oracle Apex workspace. This workspace contains departments and employees tables. The data of these two tables will be exposed via a view object to the second Apex instance, referred to as the remote instance. In this scenario, the remote instance is running on Max Apex server. However, you can create and use another workspace on Apex server. We will create an interactive report on this remote instance to fetch and use departments and employees data from the local instance. So let's get started. First, access the local instance and register your schema with ORDS RESTful data services. Expand the SQL workshop menu. Select the RESTful services option. Your schema is now registered with ORDS. Click register schema with odds button. Write any schema alias. Turn off the sample services option. Sample services are predefined RESTful services provided by Apex for educational and demonstration purposes. These services showcase various functionalities and best practices allowing users to explore and understand how RESTful services work in Oracle Apex. We will explore this in a subsequent lecture. The schema alias, remote data, is the alias for the workspace schema you are currently connected with and whose objects are to be shared remotely. For security reasons and as a good practice, it is recommended not to define the actual schema name. Now your schema is enabled with RESTful services. Go to the SQL commands interface and create a view. In this step, I created this view in SQL commands to join employees and departments tables. The code for this view is provided in the lectures resource. After creating the view, go to object browser and select the view we just created. Click the data tab. As you can see that data is displaying here. Expand the SQL workshop menu. Select the RESTful services option. Click the enabled objects option. Click the create auto rest object button. Set object type to view. Select the view we just created. As a good practice, you can change the actual view name here in the object alias for security. This step creates an auto rest object to enable the employees and department view for query.
sign out from your local workspace. Log into the remote workspace. In the remote workspace, open an application. Go to shared components. Select the REST data sources module and click the create button. On the first wizard screen, select the from scratch option and click next. Set attributes on the REST data source screen as demonstrated here. Put this URL in the URL endpoint text field and click next. These options on the remote server screen are used to configure the connection of an external RESTful services. The remote server is the external server hosting the RESTful services that you want to connect to. It represents the location where the RESTful service is deployed. The base URL is the starting point of the RESTful services on the remote server. It specifies the root URL of the service, providing the foundation for constructing the complete service URL. Here, all service specific URLs will be appended to this base URL. The service URL path is the additional part of the URL that is specific to the RESTful service module you want to interact with. It is appended to the base URL to form the complete URL for a particular service. Here, it comprises the remote schema and object aliases. Accepting the value on this wizard screen, click Next. We do not want to implement authentication for this new REST data source module. So, turn off the authentication option. We will see this in a subsequent lecture. Click the Discover button to see the remote data. Data from the remote view is fetched successfully. Click the Create REST Data Source button to complete the process. Now create an interactive report page. On the first wizard screen, select the interactive report option. Under the data source section, select the REST data source. From the REST data source list, select the REST data source module you just created and create the page. These are the columns retrieved from the remote view. After creation, run the interactive report page to see data from the remote database view. That's it for now. In this lecture, you learned how to access and view data from an external server using the RESTful services feature of Oracle Apex. Oracle Apex provides a comprehensive set of tools for defining, testing, and consuming RESTful services directly within the Apex environment. This facilitates seamless integration with external data sources, web services, and applications. In the next lecture, you will see how RESTful services sync remote data.